Hey everyone, Sheree Warwick here, BlackBlockchainConsultants.com. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. So I have an article to share with you in regards to uh, um, IDs with regards to blockchain, as well as Blockchain for Dummies book is out. So I want to show you that as well. So let us come here to... The first thing I'll show you is Blockchain for Dummies. So IBM has released this, Compliments of IBM, Blockchain for Dummies, the second edition has just come out. And as you can see from this book, uh, it is going to talk about various things within the blockchain. So first thing it talks about is blockchain fundamentals, taking a look at how blockchain works. So it starts off from the very, very beginning, propelling business with blockchains. So uh, why somebody would wanna use blockchain in their business. Blockchain in action use cases, so they go from financial services, uh, policy, government supply chain, healthcare. Those are four really big uh, industries that are starting to pay for blockchain usage. Um, so one of the things we can do based on IBM and looking at what they're doing and who they're connecting with is follow the money as blockchain consultants. Follow the money. Next, they talk about Hyperledger. Now, of course, we know this is very interesting. They talk about Hyperledger. They don't mention any of the other blockchain platforms here. So if you are a generalist, this is where you can differentiate yourself and say, but you know everything that IBM is putting their fingers on is going to be related to Hyperledger, so you're not getting a broad overview of what else is out there. Um, just a tip for you, if you are going to be a blockchain generalist, helping people decide which blockchain platform to put their, um, their information on. And then they have here 10 steps uh, to your first blockchain application. And of course, they deal with all sorts of use cases and um, uh, deployment of blockchain smart contracts and blockchain in general. So that was the first thing I want to show you. The link will be in the description. Second thing I want to show you is this great article I read in Forbes. Is blockchain a solution for securing centralized ID databases? Now, first of all, this was written by a guy named Tony Ravel, who is the CEO and co-founder of ID Merit, providing uh, identity verification solutions to mitigate fraud risk and KYC AML compliance. KYC is know your customer. Um, number one thing I want to say as blockchain consultants is if you are super interested in something like this as a topic, then this is a guide that you want to know. And towards the end of the um, the end of this article, there's a section here that says that the Forbes Technology Council is by invitation only. So if you're into blockchain and cyber or into, or into this as a use case, it is imperative for you to get in this Forbes Technology Council and to meet Tony Ravel and anybody else that's in this Forbes Tech Council. Why? If you want a blockchain job, you've got to know the right people. If you want to make money in your blockchain business, you've got to know the right people. So one of the things that you can do is start creating a list of people that you want to connect with and you want to know you. Because I always tell you, it's not what you know and it's not who you know. It's who knows you and who knows what you're capable of. That's how you make it in this world. So, yes, I know some of you are tired of me saying it, but for all the new people, I got I to gotta drill that in everybody's head. So, uh, it talks in this article about universal IDs and uh, the fact that they could be used to uh, help counterterrorism, increase national security, deter ID fraud, and make the lives of citizens easier. 
However, there is a problem with universal IDs, uh, such as the real ID in the United States and the Adhar card in India, is that it leads to the creation of a national database. So of course in the United States, we're all about privacy, but we all also, through the Department of Homeland Security, have to know what is going on um, in terms of who's coming in and out of the country and things like that. Um, so it says here, in the first half of 2018, there were 668 data breaches across U.S. industries, including banking, business, education, government, military, and healthcare. It exposed over 22 million records, is what he's saying. I believe that number is seriously estimated. Today, there was just a mention of Google. Um, and Google Plus, and I think there were like 50 something million records there. Of course, not all those people are US, but I don't know. I think the 22 million is seriously uh, underestimating it. Many of these kinds of breaches stem from databases having weak or default security configurations. And what he is saying in this article is he believes that blockchain is not a 100% solution, but it would go a long way in uh, fortifying these uh, fortifying these databases. And the idea is that it is going to be difficult for any government to protect data and to create these national databases without the security of the blockchain. Of course, we know the blockchain is not 100% secure, but it is the closest thing that we have to it. So another blockchain job or another blockchain business you can start is uh, training in terms of teaching employees as they're adding things to the block or taking, things, uh, taking information from the block, how to uh, protect themselves and protect the company so that data breaches do not occur. That's a huge, huge business that you can get in. Uh, Ron Clement is part of our group, our uh, inner circle group, and that is part of what he does on a daily basis. So, you know, you can definitely, if you're part of the inner circle, talk to him about his um, experience, but there are other people that do it as well. And again, you could start it as a business or you could get a blockchain job teaching people how to, uh, to you know, follow certain protocols so that their blockchain is not hacked. Because usually the hacking does not occur within the blockchain. Actually, not usually, it never. It has never occurred within the blockchain itself. The hacking usually occurs when information is being placed in the blockchain. That's where the hackers intercept um, information. So that is going to be a huge multi-billion dollar business. And one of the things we talk about in BBC is how to get your piece of the $3.1 trillion pie. So that's an idea for you. If you want to be a part of Black Blockchain Consultants, we welcome you to the inner circle. It's $100 a year. You get all sorts of information within our internal communication group called Flock. And um, you also get access to certain um, content that we have just for our inner circle members. And we also have a lot of classes that we are teaching and you get discounts on those classes that uh, we have through the Center for Blockchain Studies. So I wanna you know, encourage you, if you want to be a part of the inner circle to consider, con seriously consider it, uh, what we are doing is creating an ecosystem of opportunity. So if you want a blockchain job, if you want to build a blockchain business, if you want to invest in blockchain companies, we want to be that central portal for you. So with blockchain jobs, we have somebody uh, updating on a weekly basis all the blockchain jobs that are out there for non-coders. Um, for block, We also bring people who are looking to build their teams. So uh, whether it's a blockchain company or a, a company like Deloitte or somebody like that that is looking to add blockchain talent, 
um, we, you know, we're creating that ecosystem within blockchain businesses. If you have an idea, you can find developers and other team members within the inner circle. And then if you are interested in investing in the blockchain, we have a group we are associated with called Biggie, which is Blockchain Investor Group International. And um, I, you know, you know, recommend, uh, highly recommend you just check them out and see what they're doing. So that is it for me, Sheree Warwick here, Black Blockchain Consultants. Bless, God bless you. Have a great day.